This is not another fish story. It's about the loss of Akita dolphin species, the smallest dolphin species. Its misfortune is that it lives in the Gulf of Mexico with an endangered fish species prized for its bladders. The toto of a fish bladders are known as the cocaine of the ocean because they are prized by superstitious Chinese, the fish bladders are believed to have some sort of magical power, hence the poaching by Mexican poachers, the Mexican fishing cartel. Vaquita dolphins become collateral damage as they become trapped in the poachers' plastic nets. Once entangled, the dolphins drown. Known as the panda of the sea with their dark circled eyes like panda bears, they numbered fewer than 20 in March, 2019. Most likely this is not a reproducible population in the wild. They are too few to survive predation and poaching. They need to find one another to mate, too. They live only in a small area of the Gulf of Mexico, which is not asking much of nature for a species existence. The vaquita are beautiful and intelligent animals that communicate with one another many times faster than humans will ever communicate. They protect their young and most likely, like other dolphin species, mourn their dead. With their loss the future loses another precious, fellow traveler as our seas continue to die, bit by bit, day by day. Watch the following Sea Shepherd story for more on this tragic loss of a beautiful member of creation. Fish coming up, fish coming up. All right, it dropped off. Port side. I'm gonna keep it's pulling. Not a uh, dog. It's a small dog feet. It's a dog feet. I think it might be a vaquita. The point is, I cannot see the head. It's got something back going down there. The head. Let me take one thing first and go inside. To the few vaquitas that are left, it would be a relief that it's a dolphin. It's a skeleton of a porpoise. It's not like this. It is like that. That's a skeleton of a, of a vaquita. Is that actually like up, up. Do you see the skull in it? No, I think it's gone. Yeah, the skull is gone. Was counting that the school is missing. This is one meter twenty. The size of a vaquita bird is one point five meters. So the size of this. That's size. This literally fell out of a Totoaba gill net. I don't think there's any better explanation to what's killing the vaquita and why these animals are about to go extinct. This animal unfortunately definitely looks like a vaquita. It's got the same type of fins, the same type of size, the same type of like just morphology of the body. So it was tangled in the net? Yes. Well, uh, that means that we may be in front of what, one of the only 22 vaquitas left right now. We're pulling in a net and we found a vaquita entangled in that net. People say the vaquita doesn't exist. People say that the Totoaba nets are not a threat to the vaquita. From today, we found one entangled in a net. There is no doubt that this is a real danger. This is one of 22 left in the wild. Today was real evidence that this is the danger to the species. There is no denying that the Totoaba nets are the thing that kills the vaquita. As long as there's still vaquita there, we will still go out and pull as many nets as we can to ensure the survival of this species.